All right, everybody, welcome back to the garage. We're getting ready for our Oregon dune trip. I've got some oil changing to do. I got some greasing to do. Uh, we just did the clutch that you saw in the last vlog and got to treat the machine, clean the windshield, uh, mount the fire extinguishers, mount the uh, various tools we need and uh, get this thing ready to go. I just wanted to point out the drain plug. Look how clean that oil is. 2,300 miles and it's still that clean. Oil was changed probably about 800 miles ago. It's looking pretty good. All right, so all packed up. Just a couple more things. I need to put my Savage UTV case on Uncle Ben's razor so that we have a spare belt and tools ready for any kind of mishap we run into. But look at this. Look at all of that. I feel like I'm uh, somebody's wife on their first vacation overpacking for the simplest two day trip. But I mean, it's five days, so it's not that big of a deal, but put some new product on the razor. I don't know if you can see, those plastics are pretty well scratched up, but I'll throw some pictures up of what that looked like before. If you're wondering how to make your plastics black, I think I found the solution. This is what I used. Solution finish, black trim restore. Stuff's pretty nasty as far as it'll stain your clothes or whatever. It'll stain white stickers. I'm pretty happy with the results. Front looks nice and black. These fenders were gray. So pretty pleased how they look. And I actually ran it up on the roll bars and it looked, did an even better job um, it would appear than the tire shine. So may have found a new magic bottle and I will report back with my findings. But for now, just looking to put this there and then we're all set to go. I already uh, did my first oopsies. Yeah. What happened? I backed out and my camera fell off the back. That one? Yeah. Woo! We are dialed in, headed to Winchester Bay, Oregon, man. Got the machine in there, ready to do a whole bunch of testing. Full throttle battery, gonna have a good time down there. Just got on the road, we're doing a little pit stop at uh, Starbucks to get some coffee and uh, Ian's doing some warm-ups. All right Ian, we're on the road again. Ten hours to go. Where are we going this time? We went to Octane Toy Box uh, last time. Well, I got a little work to do on the way down, but uh, I figure we'll pull into Eugene pretty late tonight. And, uh, got a couple stops, Superior Motorsports down there in Eugene. Plan on stopping and seeing them tomorrow as well. And uh, yeah, a little work, a little play. What are you looking forward to the most? Uh, it's black and blue. It has 172 horsepower. That's Don't talk to her like that. That's what I'm looking forward to the most, for sure. Stretching them tires and seeing what happens. Yeah, you a little worried about the weather? No, not worried. Just uh, hoping for a little, little break in the weather at some point. Well, currently here in Spokane, they say it's 45, and about the lowest that we're gonna see over there is about 50. And uh, 45 right now, it's out here in Spokane, I would ride in this all day, but that's just because we're northerners and we've been conditioned to crappy weather for the last six months, so. Yep. Yeah. So, hopefully uh, it doesn't rain too much. It's supposed to rain at least half the time. Uh, I, think that's a, I think that's a little pessimistic. The nice thing is that they're not saying that the, the wind's gonna be that bad. It's at five, 10 miles an hour, which is pretty good for Winchester. We'll see you there.
do this. We'll do the uh, Ben yeah. 12 o'clock at night treatment here. How'd you guys sleep last night? How was how was sleeping last night, Ben? Best sleep I've ever had with a guy that snores <laughs> as bad as me. <laughs> yeah, I got about. How would you know you were snoring? It. How how would you know? It. You, you fell asleep long before I did. You were snoring before I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, that's why they have complimentary earplugs. I got about two hours. be March here around here yeah so it's uh it's like oh I think it's about like 30 degrees maybe 35 degrees somewhere in there it's cold it's supposed to be somewhere in the ballpark of uh, I think they said we're gonna hit 50 today we're about to set out and do a whole bunch of riding and uh, it is I brought snowboard gear we'll just go with that it's gonna be cold it's not like in Washington uh, where I'm from where it's dry it is, uh, and I'm dry in eastern Washington, it is 100% um, humidity, which means that at 50 degrees, 30 some degrees, whatever the hell it's going to wind up being, it's going to be much colder than it would be at 0% humidity. I'll ride all day at 45 degrees in uh, Spokane. 45 degrees out here is a different animal, so uh, hopefully we get a little bit of break, stays a little bit dry so we can get some cool stuff. I don't think people are going to arrive till maybe about 4 o'clock, somewhere in that ballpark, and uh, might get a little shot, chance to shoot on the ocean, but we'll see. Motorsport. Will it? Oh my gosh. No, he's not here. Dang it. I almost thought we had him for a second. Stimulus overload, man. Turbo General four seater, Razorback off road rack on the back. The dump bed still works, just nuts. I think they said that we're running, I'm not sure the PSI on it, but it's probably putting down about the same amount of horsepower as a Turbo S, which is roughly, you know, at the wheels, maybe about 140 to 150 in a general. Just ridiculous. Really, really want to borrow this windshield for the weekend.
there's some hot cars at Sands Sport. This one right behind me is Turbo S. Super good, nice. Big dog wasn't there, but we met the other shop guys, and they were legit. Super nice to meet some good guys that want to just talk shop and get things done. A lot of good machines. Helped us out on a couple of parts uh, going into the weekend. Make sure that uh, we're capitalizing on our ride out there. Yeah, it's always good to see those that help support the industry versus just sell it. Dude, Superior's General is everything that I would imagine putting into my own general and more like nuts that those 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 arm kits were legit those were sick that's the first time I've seen a um, forced induction general the, I've, I've never even heard people talk about it on a forum never seen one <laughs> that I, I messaged will while we were there I was like wow just blown away unbelievable car the force turbo kit I've seen it before, but I can't wait to actually get behind one and try it out because it looks, they're, they're saying that all the power is at the low end, which is yeah. where the fun is. And they're saying that, you know, it's got an HCR long travel, it's sitting about 72 inches, even though it's a little bit up in the air, they're saying that it will keep up with a Turbo S out in the sand. And that's a four seater General too. I, I really like Generals. If I could probably buy a rig right now and it wasn't gonna be a sport, you know, dedicated yeah. sport, it would be, probably a general cool shop lots of good stuff for sale if you need something hook up with them and check out their website follow them on facebook and instagram and all that jazz yeah, it's superior dash flip their machine first this week and I say first not if because I think somebody will I know I'm not because I'm gonna be pretty gentle trying to keep the camera equipment and everything in the car yeah and I'm in the same boat I'll have my backpack with me I'll be cognizant of that you know I never want to jinx myself but you yeah, never know proof it's flat earth boys great weather y'all set there is like literally barely any wind out here i think we and could that was uh, what i was worried about 
I didn't think know there was any other weather besides this in Oregon. Yeah, so I think we can. <laughs> uh, we bought ourselves enough time. You can leave your truck there. We could at least go check the sand. Nobody's out here. Let's get out here. First ride down, uh, 3R tune on the X3, and uh, she gets, man. A lot, lot more response. Um, I'm running some, um, I think they're 32 uh, scats, 10 blade, responsive. But we're sliding around just enough too, man. Like I was going left and right. I think this thing would have something for my old YXE. It's, uh, it's no complaints. Having a lot of fun out here. Sand's in great condition even though it's raining, so. One rip down, talk to me. First time on a turbo out on sand. Not first time. First time on a two-seater turbo. First time on a two-seater turbo. Yeah, she's a little squirrely. No paddles. No paddles, four wheel, big horns. Air down. You went everywhere we went. Except, uh, except with that tall, <laughs> yeah. that tall wall. I didn't, I didn't uh, quite carve as uh, long as you did. Naturally <laughs> acerated YXZ on paddles. Got everywhere I went. All day, man. The sand, uh, sand gets any more powdery, who knows, but it's tackier than hell right now. I'll so. give it 15 minutes of rain and it'll get hard again. Oh yeah, that's what she said. You forgot your what? My extra blanket. Don't you have sleeping bags? My princess, my princess blanket. You forget your teddy bear? You're right there, big guy. Ooh. You forget anything? A turbo. <laughs> <laughs> First day on the dunes, a little wet, a little gnarly, a little tired. Wear you out a little bit? Uh, the two hours of sleep last night wore me out, but uh, yeah, uh, the riding was great. Uh, I had a blast. How did the uh, paddles on the YXZ work out? Made the, makes a difference. <clears throat> you and I were just discussing that. It seems like my power gets there faster. Hmm. But, that uh, low end grip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, seems like I can hold, hold gears a little longer before shifting down. Because with you, you have to shift more. Yeah. Well, I'm hungry, so I'm going to eat.